Now, another really cool thing about the uh, BMW i3 is it, it is, in fact, a connected car. Um, the car is connected to the internet uh, uh, all the time, so it's uh, one of the internet of things that everybody talks about. And that means you can do some really cool things, and uh, one of those is uh, planning your routes and destinations in advance of actually going and sitting in the car. Um, so what I've got here on the screen is just Google Maps uh, through my browser. Obviously, I'm logged on to my uh, Google account up here, and I've configured my Google account uh, with my BMW uh, username so I can send destinations to the car. Um, so um, I'm planning a trip uh, to a museum, so uh, let's, uh, let, let's click in here. I know where the museum is roughly, so let's click in and zoom in to where we want to go and uh, where I'm actually looking for is the uh, Brunel Museum at, uh, at Rotherhive. So just wait for the resolution of the map to uh, refresh from the internet and um, I happen to know it's pretty close to the uh, Rotherhive tunnel and in fact let's zoom in a little bit here and of course there it is. Now the Brunel Museum is uh, all about the uh, Thames Tunnel. The Thames Tunnel was the very very first uh, tunnel ever constructed under a navigable river, in other words a river that carries shipping. Um, and uh, the, the technique used was pioneered by Brunel and is very similar to the techniques uh, that we use to build the uh, Channel Tunnel and of course uh, currently building the Crossrail Railroads across London. Um, the only difference realized it, it really really now is that uh, nowadays it's more automated and back then it was a more manual uh, process but the the actual technique was uh, pretty much the same so uh, this railway uh, runs through the tunnel nowadays and that's the London Overground uh, network and it runs obviously between Wapping uh, on the north side of the river and Rotherhive on the south side of the river anyhow if I uh, click under our point of interest we get a drop down in Google and as you can see I've got send to car and uh, BMW i3 and then I can send destination to the car and if we went and looked at the navigator in the car in messages there would be this destination at which we could uh, select so if I sat in the car now I go in and say uh, to the navigator press the uh, uh, the talking key and say messages and I would see that destination in there um, there's an interesting story about the uh, 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 Thames Tunnel. Um, Brunel actually nearly drowned in an accident uh, uh, during the construction of the uh, tunnel when it became flooded and he got a severe bout of pneumonia and uh, had to uh, go off to uh, convalesce um, in, a, uh, in, in rest in, uh, in Bristol and uh, while he was in Bristol he uh, learnt of a project to uh, span the gorge and um, uh, it was there he came up with the idea in hospital of building the the um, Clifton Suspension Bridge. And, uh, so if that tunnel hadn't flooded and uh, Brunel hadn't gone off to uh, Bristol uh, to a convalescent home, then um, we probably would never have seen the uh, the Clifton Suspension Bridge built. Anyway, that's uh, one cool uh, function. I guess the next uh, destination we should go to is really the Clifton Suspension Bridge. So. Uh, should we try that? Um, let's uh, scan towards uh, the west, uh, where I was born, of course. I was born in Bristol. And uh, let's see if we can't find uh, the uh, Clifton Suspension Bridge, which I'm sure we'll be able to. My goodness, my, my geography might not be uh, so good anymore. Uh, but where is it? <laughs> Yeah, this is where I, uh, I, I I struggle a little bit in uh, in my memories, and there it is anyway. wasn't too bad with it. Got there. So let's go and visit the uh, Clifton Suspension Bridge, and uh, let's uh, let's have a look at uh, uh, the drop down, and uh, let's send that destination to the car as well, and off we go. It's as simple as that. How easy is it to program your navigator when you've got Google Maps? Well, having sent those uh, two destinations to the car, I guess uh, now the thing is to go and sit in the car and uh, see how we retrieve those uh, destinations. So um, I'm going to use the uh, voice recognition to uh, do that, and I'm going to ask her to go to the Messages folder. Messages. Messages. Please say the number of the entry you want. One. Did you say one? 
Yes. Entry selected. And there we have it. There's the uh, destination, the first destination we entered. And uh, let's go and uh, I could say uh, start uh, navigation, I guess, and, uh, and do that. Um, or I could uh, talk to it either way. But uh, I'd use the iDrive control to do that as well. And it's uh, pre selected the uh, fast uh, route. Please uh, follow the arrow on the display. When leaving, please turn right. So, yeah, that's the fast route criteria. So, we can try the other destination as well. Messages. Messages. Please say the number of the entry you want. Two. Did you say two? Yes. Entry selected. And there we are for the Clifton Suspension Bridge, which was the uh, second uh, destination we put into the uh, car. Now, if I start guidance here, it's probably going to tell us we've got uh, insufficient electric range, which uh, it does appear to be doing just that. And uh, like on uh, the um, BMW app, uh, as we'll see, uh, it also shows the uh, the range for different. Uh, please follow the arrow on the display. When leaving, please turn left. And it's asking if I want to search for charging stations as well. So well, there you have it, Google Send to Car.